We now have another deal. How about this one? Are you ready? Okay. A.J. Brown to the Eagles. Is that true? A.J. Brown. <laughs> a, you say that's true. I don't just make these up. Whoa, he is whoa. going to Philadelphia. What? For See? the 18th overall selection and a third round pick is what my understanding preliminarily. So A.J. Brown goes to Philly. For the number 18 pick okay. and a third rounder. Now we're cooking. Yeah. Okay, now so we're now cooking I, now. Now, 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 now yeah. I got a little BMAC nod yes. head nod. What do you say about this? Listen, <laughs> I applaud Philadelphia. They've been trying for such a long time to get wide receivers. And people have been giving them so much flack for missing out on Justin Jefferson. They tried with Devontae, uh, Devontae Smith a year ago. He showed some promise here or there. But getting A.J. Brown, you got a number one for real right now you got a physical caliber player that your young quarterback can rely on so me personally this was a huge move and i like what they gave up to go get aj brown yep. aj brown is a pro bowler yeah he, he's anquan bolden 2.0 and you he's fast him. pete huh you gotta pay him that's okay they're not paying a quarterback right now that's no, what you not. do when you're not paying your franchise quarterback franchise like money you can allocate those do dollars elsewhere on your team i love what the eagles have done in yeah. the last couple years and and howie roseman takes a lot of grief in a lot of ways. You look at that roster, they've locked up some key young players. The left tackle, Mylotta, another good player. They get Devontae Smith, you have a speed guy now and a big physical guy in A.J. Brown. I love what they're doing. It all comes back to Jalen Hurts, but this is a move made to help Jalen Hurts become their quarterback of the future. This feels like we sort of joke, uh, the Eagles are playing 40 chess and everyone else is playing checkers. The way they moved up and down the draft board, the way they took advantage of the Saints, let's be honest, the Saints didn't get the, the, the best end of that deal. Mm -hmm. And then, as you noted, if you're not hitting on wide receivers in the draft, mix it up. Go mix it you up. You know this guy is really good. You know what he can do. He wants out of Tennessee. He will come to Philadelphia and be an immediate contributor. I, I, I love it. Love I, it. I, I love, uh, love it. Should Tennessee have just paid A.J. Brown? Yes. I mean, what are they thinking? I yes. would have paid him. I would have paid him. But you're, again, you're talking about a team that is built to run the football, paying a re wide receiver but on the outside. what if he doesn't want to be there? Well, that's it. You know, look, what's he going to do? Sit out? Nobody sits out. Anymore. Exactly. I'm not letting A.J. Brown go when I have concerns with my quarterback. Right. That's Now you let A.J. Brown go. Who is your number one wide receiver for Tennessee right now? But you got to remember, though, the Tennessee offensive line has really fallen off in recent years. And that's something they're going to have. Probably, maybe at pick 18 they might address because their offensive line is a disaster. I, I, this right was now. a horrible move for Tennessee. Great move for Philly. If they, if they were going to deal him. Did they get enough back? Like, you know, you have the draft charts and all that. 18 and 101, is that enough? That's the going rate. AJ Brown? I mean, now Philly has to pay AJ Brown, too. So, would you rather pay AJ Brown or is it 18 and 101 for value? That, forget about it, it, it. Did they get enough value back for AJ Brown? No. I think you pay AJ Brown because. No, no, but if you, if you were going to pay him, let's say you knew it was irreparable, you're going to have to deal. Did you get enough back for him? No, because you can draft someone of those spots that they got back, and you will not get the production that A.J. Brown gave you. You can draft two offensive players. You can draft two wide receivers, a wide receiver tight end, two running backs. It doesn't matter. You're not getting the A.J. Brown production. I understand why they did it. The leverage situation, you're up against the clock. I get all those things. But at the end of the day, I, I think that the Eagles went out. See, what I think the Eagles saw the board go off with the wide receivers go off, Williams and right. Wilson and them, and they said, we got to get a wide receiver. Yeah. And also, too, you look at Tennessee, you know, they traded for Robert Woods. He's coming off an ACL injury. That's right. Yep. Right? So you don't know exactly where he will be when it comes to health. So clearly, with them getting the 18th pick, they're going to take a wide receiver. Yeah. All right. So, ultimately, when you look at this deal, and you look back on this, is A.J. Brown going to be happy in Philly with their quarterback situation? Yes, because he's going to get paid. That's all he cares? No, he, but but this is a good situation. Let's keep it real. Ryan Tannehill, is the, he's an emotional roller coaster. Remember how that season ended. Exactly. But Looking at QBR how the season is going to be better ended. than Jalen Hurts. And Jalen Hurts will be a better passer in year two. with A.J. Brown. And That's Ryan Tannehill won't be the Ryan Tannehill that we You talked about this. When did Josh Allen turn the corner? Who, got, who arrived on Stephon the scene? Stephon Diggs. When you're looking at young quarterbacks, EK, Pete, Prisco, the best way to see these guys develop, go get them a number one experienced guy. So does that mean two is going to be great this year? He better be. If they don't, <laughs> they're going to run be. him out of town. If you're he telling me be. that, hey, if you get the guy, you're going to Look be. at this. Look at recent history has, 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 has shown all of us. Josh Allen, a better quarterback with Stephon Diggs. All right, so, so is Kyler Jaylen, Murray, a better on, okay. quarterback so with DeAndre Hopkins. So is Jalen Hurts more Tua or Josh Allen? Oh, my goodness. I'm just saying. I, <laughs> he's in between. Yeah, he's, he's in between. between. I don't want to be on record with that one. He, yeah, uh -huh. All <laughs> That's right. a tough question. Boy, he's <laughs> in between? Yeah, that's what you are down on Tua. 
He, yeah. he, does, he's, he doesn't have any fire. I don't think Tua is not even Jalen Hurts. No, well, who, oh, Tua? He's in between. All Jalen right. Hurts. Fair <laughs> enough. There you go. So the Eagles Great move make a big splash. Yeah. There you go. Second year in a row, they had a big-time wide receiver last year. It was through the draft. Taking the Heisman Trophy winner this time, an established player, A.J. Brown, is now going to Philly. All right, let's bring in our fantasy guy, uh, Jamie Eisenberg. Okay, uh, we've had some deals, but let's start right out of the gate. A.J. Brown is now in Philadelphia. He is with the Eagles. What are the fantasy ramifications for this for you? Well, obviously, Jalen Hurts is a huge winner. You don't get a receiver of this caliber and lose. And, and you know, the big thing clearly, and, and this goes with what A.J. Brown's fantasy value is going to be, is Nick Sirianni going to go back to what we saw at the beginning of last season or toward the end of last season when they were clearly a very run-dominant and successful running team that's not going to be the target share or the target percentage that we like to see for a guy like A.J. Brown. So he loses a little bit of value going to the Eagles, but not by much. He's still going to be a borderline number one fantasy option. We just have to see what the rest of this Eagles offense looks like. But when you put him with Jalen Hurts, I think as BMAC said, you know, you get a little bit more hopefully stability at the quarterback position because of what Ryan Tannehill's up and down nature uh, tends to be. So I don't necessarily mind this. I kind of look at it as a little bit of a lateral move. I don't think he's going to get the targets that we like, but I still think he'll be able to produce and produce at a high level. But Jalen Hurts' fantasy value now goes through the roof because you get a receiver of this caliber and the weapons that he already has along with that with Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard and whatever they're going to have out of the backfield, you know, with Miles Sanders, Kenneth Gainwell. It's a pretty good situation to be in at the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles right now. All right, does it actually hurt Devontae Smith or does it help Devontae Smith now that A.J. Brown's in the receiver room? Yeah, it hurts him. I mean, you know, you don't get an alpha receiver on your team and get better, again, especially if they're still going to be a run-heavy team. So if they're going to flip the script a little bit and start to throw the ball a little bit more, which we would love to see, and, you know, I think as the guy said, you know, you see this with young quarterbacks. You saw it in Buffalo with what they did with Stephon Diggs. You know, you've seen it across the league. Kyler Murray last year, or two years ago, excuse me, when they gave him DeAndre Hopkins. So you got to like when these teams are putting players around young quarterbacks and asking them to get better, and I hope that's going to be the case for Jalen Hurts. But as we know, he's still going to use his legs. They're still going to run the ball. So uh, Devontae Smith, I don't think, is going to necessarily benefit with a guy like A.J. Brown on his roster. Who benefits in Tennessee? Somebody's going to get those targets, catches, touchdowns, or at least a percentage of them. Uh, yeah, probably the guy that they're about to select. You know, hopefully they're going to take a wide receiver here as they're on the clock. So that would be the nice thing is that they go out and they address the position. Uh, Traylon Burks is the guy that they get. So they get him uh, at number 18, and that's the guy that's going to step in and be the number one receiver there. So that, that, that's part of this deal is obviously moving on from A.J. Brown to start fresh because they don't want to pay A.J. Brown. So Traylon Burks is a guy that's got a ton of talent, and so hopefully he steps up and plays at a very high level. Uh, clearly going to have to get the targets that A.J. Brown was getting and play at that level. And so uh, hard ask for him, but right now he's looking like the – the, the top of the charts for the receiver court, you know, of, of this rookie class. You know, when you talk about Drake London in Atlanta, Chris Olave going to uh, New Orleans, obviously Garrett Wilson going to the Jets. There's a lot of premier receivers in this class. Traylon Burks is one of my favorite guys. Now he has a clear path to being the number one receiver for still a decent quarterback in Ryan Tannehill. Obviously, they're not going to throw the ball very much, but uh, Robert Woods coming off the ACL, LCL tear. Uh, you know, you got Des Fitzpatrick, who was, uh, you know, struggling as a young receiver. Uh, obviously, they bring in Austin Hooper at the tight end position, but this is still Derrick Henry's team, so... Uh, Traylon Burks, though, big opportunity in front of him right now. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.